360 video post with Boris FX plugins and Views XR. In this tutorial, I'll show 360 video creators how to use the Mocha Pro and Continuum plugins from Boris FX to stabilize, sharpen, and improve your 360 video footage. This footage was shot with a Views XR camera from Human Eyes. The Views XR can shoot in both stereo 180 or 360 mono formats. But you can see that this is a fully spherical 360 mono clip. You can find out more about the Views camera on their website shown here. 360 camera owners love to make immersive content, like going down the slide. But you can see some common problems with this handheld footage that will make the footage difficult to watch. The shaky camera work can cause motion sickness for many viewers. We have a lot of motion blur in these areas, and the general clip could be improved with some color correction, sharpening, and motion graphics. We can add all of that with Boris FX plugins inside of Adobe Premiere, After Effects, and many other common editing applications. While the View Studio software does have the ability to stabilize, for difficult 360 stabilization shots like this one, Mocha Pro's amazing planar tracking will give us more advanced options and user control. I will start by applying the Mocha Pro 2019 plugin to our footage inside of Adobe After Effects. I will set the footage type to 360 stereo or mono depending on the footage. In this case, it's mono. And then we launch the Mocha interface. In order to stabilize the horizon, we must have a solid track of an object in the scene, preferably close to the horizon or in the background. I will draw a shape around this area and track forwards. Using this 360 button, we can switch our view between a 360 spherical view and the distorted echo-rectangular view. If your shot is extremely shaky or has very noticeable motion blur, you may need to employ advanced tracking techniques or even multiple stabilized passes. But for this tutorial, I will focus on the basic stabilization steps. I won't make you sit through me tracking this shot. For speed, we will move on to the next step. Once you have a solid track, with the layer selected, simply jump over to the Reorient module. In the Reorient module, turn on your horizon and on-screen controls. We can adjust the horizon line tool to match the actual horizon line you see in the shot, and turn your controls off again. We can also select various views, like the front, to see how the shot will look when viewed in a VR headset. The Reorient module is linked to our selected track layer, and we can adjust the pan, tilt, and roll settings however we like. Once we are satisfied, we can simply save and close the Mocha Pro interface and render back to the timeline by checking the Render checkbox and selecting the Reorient option from the drop-down menu. Mocha gives us powerful options for tracking and stabilization. I could even stabilize the cameraman's position and orient him to the front for a completely different experience, just like this. Stabilization in Mocha is what I call artistic stabilization. That is, you get to choose what the stabilize is based on, and that can completely change the story you're trying to tell. Next, let's adjust the color correction. Boris Continuum plugins offer many options for creative color creation and stylistic looks. I can add some simple color correction with the Continuum Fast Film Looks effect, and even choose from many presets. Because this is a universal color correction solution, not a specifically 360 effect, we'll avoid softening or glow effects that might create a noticeable 360 seam and focus on basic contrast, exposure, and saturation. One of the cool things about Boris FX plugins is that I can save my effect as a preset to be used again later on in my project. Next, I will apply the Continuum Flicker Fixer to the shot to get rid of unwanted lighting changes from the rapid camera motion and stitching. The Continuum VR Flicker Fixer is designed to reduce or eliminate flicker and lighting shifts from live-action 360 VR footage. It's shockingly easy to use. Simply apply the filter and then pick what type of correction to use. The Frame Analysis method is intended for use with clips with flicker that is uniform throughout the frame. The two temporal smoothing methods are intended for use with clips in which the flicker varies from pixel to pixel within the frame. However, the temporal options are most suitable for clips without fast-moving objects. The Continuum VR Sharpen tool can help bring some pop back into my scene and improve clarity. 
All I have to do is drop my filter onto my clip and adjust the sharpen settings to my preference. Since streaming compression and headsets will soften your shot, you can typically crank this value up higher than you think you need, and it will really improve the user experience. The BCC VR Sharpen filter uses state-of-the-art image algorithms to enhance detail while minimizing artifacts associated with traditional sharpening tools. There are advanced controls with up to four sharpen passes labeled fine, small, medium, and coarse. And this filter was designed to operate in 360, so you do not have to worry about vertical seams on the back edges. We can zoom in and compare the before and after to help while making adjustments. To add a quick motion graphic, I created this 3D title animation using the Extrude Text plugin found in Continuum's 3D Objects folder. Now, I will use the Continuum VR insert to place the graphic properly into the 360 spherical space. I created the 3D text on a separate layer in my project file and pre-composed the layer in After Effects. If working in Premiere, you would nest your text layer and then apply the VR insert. The Continuum VR insert filter is an easy way to add traditional 2D elements to your 360 video. Select the layer you are using as the insert inside of the effect controls, then place the text into the shot at your desired screen depth. This effect works in mono and stereo, allowing you to quickly place and animate graphics in your 360 footage with minimal effort. And because it can reference a source layer, it's fully editable after placement. Since we don't know exactly where our viewers are looking in 360, I'll apply the Continuum VR insert filter to scale and position my title appropriately in the spherical space. We can turn on the overlays to get a sense of the 360 space. Instead of duplicating the title three times, I'll simply turn on the replicate option to duplicate the title so the viewer won't miss the title if they're not looking at the front view. For the final, I decided to use a single title to show the viewer where to look. Beyond the basics, we can even use Boris Effects 360 Aware plugins for advanced tasks such as blurring faces or removing objects. We can combine the Continuum's VR blur with Mocha Pro's 360 masking tools to blur the faces of other people in this video to protect their identity. Like these children at the bottom of the slide. I launch Mocha Pro, and then I can use the spline tools to define the people I want to blur. I can let Mocha track them, save and close Mocha, then convert them to native After Effects masks, or simply apply the mats if I'm in an editing program like Premiere. We can use Continuum's VR Blur to apply a simple witness protection blur, again without worrying about the 360 theme. When we are done, the festival goer's identities are protected, and we can focus on our 360 experience for the user. I hope you enjoyed this video breakdown of quick ways to improve 360 footage, between Mocha Pro and the Continuum VR plugins, filmmakers and VR enthusiasts can use professional post-production techniques to make their projects look great. You too can turn a shot like this one into this completely transformed footage. Find out more on BorisFX.com.